Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm the Director of Technical Advocacy here at Cohesity. Today I'm going to show you how you can use Instant NAS Restore to bring your SMB or NFS file shares from a different system online quickly with Cohesity. You may want to do this if there were to be a cyber event against your existing file shares, or if you're looking to migrate your workloads from your existing NAS to Cohesity. So let's take a closer look. So what you can see here is that I have logged in to the Cohesity dashboard. You can see our single UI giving us insights into everything that's going on in the environment, regardless of where the data is, on-prem, edge, cloud. We also can see here that we have insights into other capabilities, such as site continuity, Fort Knox, our security center, lots of options, all from within our single UI. Now, let's go ahead and get started with that instant NAS restore that I promised I would show you today. So the first thing I did is went over to my cluster manager and I'm choosing the cluster where I'm actually backing up this NAS share on a different system. So again, this could be NFS, SMB, and as long as you're protecting it with Cohesity, what I'm gonna show you next will work. So if we go over to data protection and we choose recoveries, we're now going to have the ability to choose recover NAS and we would want to choose storage volume. So this is going to let us choose a storage volume. Again, this NAS is not on Cohesity today. It's a different system. We're going to go ahead and choose that and also then select our restore point. And from there, we can go ahead and tell this that we want it to be hosted on Cohesity with a new Cohesity view. So let's go ahead and call this NAS. And we're gonna go ahead and choose a QoS policy and click recover. So if we first view the progress of that, we can see very quickly that in my case, this succeeded. And I can now head over to file services, go to views, and we can get some additional information about this restore. All right, so now let's go ahead and edit our newly converted share. And what I wanna highlight for you here is we have the ability to control the settings around NFS, SMB, so all the permissioning you can review and modify as needed. Also note that we could enable antivirus and some of the settings on here are control over, scan on close, open, open and close, and you can even exclude files, etc. I'm going to go ahead and disable that for now, and we're just going to go ahead and click cancel. Now, if I had enabled the antivirus, and I do have this enabled on some other Cohesity views, what we could do is uh, just take a closer look at that. Now, if I click over on providers, I can see that I have ClamAV app enabled. This is an antivirus option available in the Cohesity marketplace. You could, however, add your own virus scanning ICAP provider as well. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. And then what happens is you then get the ability to, on access, you can have detections occur and items be quarantined. So in this case, on the default antivirus uh, view, we have ICAR, which was detected and quarantined. All right, so then with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up today. What you can see is that we can restore your NAS 
to Cohesity with Instant NAS Restore in the event of a cyber attack to bring production workloads online quickly, or you could leverage this process to migrate workloads from your NAS onto Cohesity and leverage your file shares from there. Thank you so much for joining me for this demo today, and that wraps up this demo.